So out here front, J Street, so all these windows. So all the ones, the, the height of, you know, what we can reach. So that window, that window, that window, and this one, right? So all things, even like this, the outside panels need to be wiped down. All the way inside, getting that needs to be wiped down. The handles and right here all need to be wiped down. So we're doing outside and inside of this glass. So all these, here's the, here's the outside. Do the code, but oh, thank you T. So on the inside, same thing. We're doing all these windows, making sure we get this jump out of the window. How do we do that? We do that with the vacuum. In the corners, and you can see underneath, there's junk under here. We need to vacuum all this out before we uh, actually mop. So, and there's cobwebs that get up into these corners. And you can use the vacuum. There's cobweb there. There's big old cobwebs right there. We can get that all with the vacuum, right? And so all that high dusting stuff can be done once a week. These windows need to be done every time. We're here three times a week. Even like this, people touch this, so this needs to be wiped down. The handles need to be wiped down because people touch that every day. And making sure we get all these corners, gotta vacuum this stuff to get the cobwebs out of there. You can see there's cobwebs right there. There's cobwebs up here, cobwebs up here. That is weekly. But cleaning this glass, that's every day. So, and then we got the corners, what? Oh, dusting, yeah. There's cobwebs. I don't know if you can see it on here. Right there, cobwebs all along there. That can all be gotten with the vacuum. Vacuum all that stuff out, right? All that junk. And all the, all the corners, right? Lots of corners, corners. Stay away from these things, you know. The plate, stainless steel cleaner needs to be on the plate. Stainless steel cleaner needs to be put on here, all the way around. So, and, and of course, all of this needs to be done. The insides of here need to be done on a regular basis. How you do that, you can either do it with a paper towel or if you have a microfiber rag that you only use for stainless steel cleaners. So you keep that one separately and you can clean these things probably without any extra stainless steel cleaner. You just use the rag that you used before. Make sure to get all those done. I'll hit the button. The tracks. Those tracks need to be vacuumed out. These are pretty good. So, but those always need to be vacuumed out. All along the corners, these need to be vacuumed out. And then the stainless steel here. So, if we get this all wiped down, and you're basically spot cleaning it every time. We're here three times a week. So that all needs to be spot cleaned. The handles need to be wiped down. All this stuff with stainless steel. And once the door shuts across here, then that inside door needs to be cleaned as well. And I did notice a little, uh, you say um, something that was drawn on the on the inside that I needed to get rid of was a uh, something inappropriate. Inappropriate. Thank you. Good word. So this top needs to be wiped down every single time. You know that needs to be done. Handle needs to be wiped. That door was extremely dirty. It needs to be wiped down. Not every single time, but you know you need to look at it. And this gets dirty to wipe down. People get their you know fingerprints and stuff. And then the last thing to do here is once we get it all vacuumed out is to mop. So we're going to be using not a flat mop, but a wet mop. And I'll show you where the, uh, how to get a bucket and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you how to do that. So on to the next video.